Um, so I want to show you um, something I do with workflow um, in terms of taking notes in the classroom. Um, a lot of times we're asked to take anecdotal notes in the classroom. Um, you know, usually uh, a clipboard is recommended. And a clipboard is great because, you know, you can write down shorthand, you can make your own notes. And, uh, you know, the problem is retrieving that data later. I mean, how, how often do you take a note uh, on a student or take an observation on a student only to never look at it again or only look at some of the notes that you take? Um, so I try to come up with a better way of using workflow to capture uh, qualitative data on our students. Um, I'm, I have it listed in the description of the video. Um, this one is, uh, I took out my students from this one. Um, but basically it, it sets your date and then you make a list of your students here. And then um, I'll show you what it looks like when you run it. I have a copy of it here. Um, but when you run this workflow, it shows you a list of your students and you tap the one that you're observing and you make your observation. Kind of a lame observation, but regardless, I'm just gonna write it anyway. And I hit okay. And it adds it to a text file that is specifically for that student. And it also adds it to a text file that is for the class in general. So now that I'm on my computer, I can uh, look to where that observation file saved. Um, remember on when you get your workflow app, you got to set it up so that it connects to your Dropbox. I already did that. So you didn't see me futzing around with any settings. Um, but I told my uh, file, my observation file to save to Dropbox into this notes um, folder. And this notes folder happens to be synced up to this great app called NB Alt. You don't have to use this. You could go in here and find where you saved it. I have it um, saved, when you look in the workflow, you'll see it saved as xobs. And the reason I save it as xobs is because I don't want to search for observations and have you know random things come up that don't have to do with what I'm looking for. So xobs is, you know I know that comes from this particular workflow. Um, that way, I'm not every you know when I when I go in to search for something in, in Spotlight, I can just type X obs and only the observations will come up. And you can open it with anything you want, um, any text editor that you like. Uh, everyone has text edit if you use a Mac, um, and then it shows my stuff up here. You can also use NB Alt; it's free, it's great. Um, if I type in X obs, that comes up, and it's got um, a general picture of the class. Um, these are all fake observations that I've taken. Um, and it also has one for each stu individual student listed by date. Um, so you can tweak the workflow however you like, but this is a really good way to quickly pull up information on a kid if you're trying to figure out um, instructional needs or maybe even behavioral needs or um, like antecedents uh, that you're trying to figure out in, in, a, in an FBA. Um, there are a whole bunch of different applications and ways to use this. Um, so I hope this is useful. Let me know in the comments uh, if you like it and also um, make sure that you Da you download this workflow. Um, it's in the description of the YouTube video. Really quickly, I want to show you when you're in, when, when you download this, this anecdotal notes in the classroom, um, you're going to have to go into the workflow and add your own students um, to this list. Um, they won't be there already for you if you add them in. And also down here, you can see how it saves. It appends to a Dropbox file. If the Dropbox file doesn't exist, it will create it in that directory. Um, but you can change this to whatever directory you like and whatever title um, for the text file you like. Just make sure that you keep that .txt extension or it won't save properly. Um, I have it set up so that when it gets to, there's a variable there for student. Um, if you click there, you see that little variable button um, right above the keyboard. That'll allow you to pop in any of the variables saved above. Um, like student or like the observation that was made um, and that way you can have it by student and then it also down here has the general observations um, so you can change those to whatever titles you like